Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, it's Jackson again, and today I'm just gonna do a little tackle review. Now I don't have a lot of tackle like a lot of people do. I mean, I'm just a kid, so I don't have as much as what I would like to. But let's see if I can get this video done. First thing is a soft plastic. I have a Zoom, a Super Fluke with a swim tail on it and pearly white. You can Texas rig these. I, I like put them on a jig head. Second thing I got is some yum dingers. I have a, a three inch one. Maybe a little bit over, I don't know. And a six inch. I like getting the biggest size you can get. Um, only because if you need to just bite it down or cut it down to whatever size the bass are wanting smaller, then you can, or if they want the size you have, you can just always just cut them down. That's why I like getting the biggest size. Right here we have some uh, Yum Crawls in black and blue. Really nice. I use them as jig trailers and you can Texas rig them. Uh, right here we have some Worms. Croto Worms. My name's a mess. Croto Worms. Blue tail. Really nice. There's some just plain black ones under there. We got some just some green pumpkin. Worms right here, curly tail, and right here we have a uh, topwater frog. And for spinner baits, I have a blue and white spinner bait. I got this for like a dollar at Walmart. I like the willow leaf on it, really nice. And I got this one. Has a little worm trailer on it. Uh, just a teardrop trailer. I mean, just teardrop uh, spinner on it. And I've got buzz bait in white. Um, I had like three more spinner baits, but I traded them for some uh, different tackle. Right here we have a, a justice jig in black and blue because down here where I live in Kentucky. We mostly have murky water, like muddy, muddy water, so black and blue is a really good color to use. I have another jig in here, tournament series. Black and blue jig, nice. And then we have a multicolored jig right here. But when it, it, it's gray whenever you take it out of the water and let it dry, but whenever you put it in the water, it's, like, it's purple, black, and blue. It's really nice. Oh, it's stuck in my hand. Uh, put the bacon in there. We have a, a just miscellaneous uh, split shots, different sizes. We have three aught and four aught hooks. Some jig heads down in there. Uh, bullet weights, different kinds of bullet weights, and we just have different kinds of hooks for pan fishing trout. Alright, that is my soft plastic and uh, terminal box. There's one of the frogs you had to my brother's little uh, KVD. Uh, onto my crankbait box. Don't have a lot of crankbaits, but it's a random popper in here for some reason. Random popper. Uh, just a little soft body minnow type. A uh, soft body metal type thing. Just a little grub right here. I don't know why that's in there either. A little grub. Right here is a fat crankbait. Look like a medium diving crankbait. Right here is a Rapala in a bluegill pattern. Really, really nice. I need to get some more square bills. I barely have any. Actually, I don't have any right now. Here is a, uh, I'm not sure what brand this one is. It's really nice, like a shad. Just a little perch crank. And here's another Rapala. Yeah, it's a Rapala. Wait. I can't tell. Yeah, it's a Rapala. It's a floating 
It's a floating crank. It's really nice. Here's it right here. The lipless crank. I got this a few years back. Like a little, it was 75 cents, and I was like, hey, why not? Here's another lipless. It's like a, like a bluegill pattern. Panfish. There's another lipless. It's like, I think these are all cotton cordills. These lipless. Uh, like a bleeding shad. And now here's just like a tiny crank. Alright, that's it for my crank bait box. Now, on to my little bitty rooster tail box. Hold on. Alright. We just have some, like a two pink and like a brown trout right there. Uh, we have two blacks and a white and yellow with black spots. A bigger brown trout and this thing has caught me so many trout. So a trout spinner and like a baby rainbow. I don't know if that'll focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Well, it's not going to focus for me. Uh, just a little thing. I, mean, I don't even know what that is. And I was trout fishing at the river one time. And I just happened to stumble upon this little popper type thing. Never used it. Don't even know. Like it kind of looks like a bullfrog. Like a single hook design. I don't even know what this is for. I guess it could be used for like creek and panfish. But next time I go trout fishing, I'm going to tie this on and just see what it can do. Alright guys, that is it. Uh, comment if you would want to see my rod and reel arsenal. And my tackle and my rod and reel arsenal will be extending soon. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. See y'all later.